Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, in this video, I'm going to do a review on the Bruce Lee Fist of Fury 1-6 scale figure from Interbay. Uh, I had this figure for about a month now, and I finally got a chance to uh, do this review. I've been busy with work and everything. So, as I promised, uh, here's the review. I'm just going to start with the box. Um, I'm not too crazy about it. I mean, when you first got the figure, well, my figure when I first got it, there's you can see... Uh, the dents and you know on the corners and some scratches on it. I mean, I wish it would have been perfect. Um, I really wanted to send this back and get a replacement, but then I didn't want to pay extra shipping for the figure because I already paid a lot of money for this collectible. So I just kept it the way it is. But I'm um, not too crazy about the design. I wish it could have been you know a lot better. But he has a here's a nice picture of Bruce Lee in the front. Now it's about the same same size as the uh, PS3 box, and when you open it up, you get two separate boxes. Your typical interbay like brown ca cardboard boxes. One is for the uh, actual actual figure, so which is that this one, and the other one's for the accessories. Now it's a collector friendly box. There's no twist ties and everything, so you can just take take the figure out, you know, and start posing it whatever you want. And it comes with, um, I believe, six hands and one extra, like, clothing for the figure, and uh, a metal stand. And let's uh, go on with the other stuff that's included. It's included um, this, uh, like, like wooden sign, just from the movie, and a wooden, uh, you know. Um, Certificate of uh, authenticity. It's not like the paper that the other figures come with, so that's kind of unique in a way. Now let's get with the figure. Let's get on with the figure itself. Now this version is actually the uh, I think they call it the uh, the upgraded version. It comes with a 3.5 uh, Bruce Lee body, so it has more um, you know uh, more stability, I guess, and uh, better ankle joints. And it, com it only comes with one body, and this one uh, I had to buy separate. This is the 3.5 BL uh, Bruce Lee body. And I'll show you the box for that. It's uh, this one right here. This is the box for uh, the body. Um, it's, it's really nice, nice sculpting. Um, I'm just going to talk some stuff that I don't like about the figure. When you first get the figure, um, obviously the shoes are white. So when they, um, when you first get it, the styrofoam gets rubbed on to the shoes, and it looks dirtied up. It looks really dirty, so you have to clean those, you know, the shoes up. And you can see that the paint kind of like uh, it rubs off. The paint rubs off in the shoes. So all you see is white, white spot right there, which I had no clue that was gonna happen when I first uh, post the figure. It kind of rubbed off into the uh, the wooden diorama right here, and also into the base. You see like all the white spots on the base, so that's really a bad thing. And you see like the paint like coming off the shoes, which uh, I don't really like. But overall, the figure it's um it's great. It looks the sculpting is uh, spot on. It uh, has that realistic look to it comes with two heads, uh, two sculpts, and uh, three hairs you can swap. And it comes with the nunchucks also. I mean, overall this figure is really good. I mean, another downside is the price. It's about, well, it was uh, $350 plus um, $30 for the body, so it was like $380. So it's a pretty pricey figure. I think this is the most expensive collectible um, I ever bought. But it's worth it. I mean, if you're a big, like you know, Bruce Lee fan, like I am, so you have the a painting up there, of Bruce Lee, which is pretty nice. So I got that online. But I don't think they sell those anymore. But um, yeah, I mean, I really like this figure. I mean, if you're a big fan of Bruce Lee, definitely pick it up. Um, Hot Toys also has their own uh, the DX Bruce Lee figure. Um, I got that on pre-order, which is uh. A pretty good deal for um, two hundred dollars. I got the uh, exclusive version, so I can't wait to, for that to come in. 
but compared to the Enter Bay, I definitely prefer Enter Bay more. I mean, right now, as if, but if you can't, you know, if you don't have the money to buy the, this figure, I would suggest picking up the Hot Toys, you know. Uh, don't miss out on that. I mean, it's a great looking figure, but I just think that the Enter Bay is more um, accurate, I guess. But, you know, I'm not really complaining about the Hot Toys one. I'm still getting it. It still looks nice. But, um, yeah, that's really about it. I mean, if you guys can uh, pick this up, you know, here's your chance to do it before it goes up again. Because they tend to be, you know, get really pricey towards, you know, till later on if you wait. So, here's a good chance to pick this up. Um, Alright, guys, uh, I'm going to end the video. So... I'm also going to do a review on the Sideshow Premium Format Bruce Lee, so uh, you know, stay tuned for that. Alright guys, you guys uh, have a good one, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.